welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Gods and goddesses, I am doing your reading. This is going to be a soul reading for the collective or whoever this may resonate for. I do want to extend my gratitude out to all of my viewers. Um, those of you who subscribed and continue to watch, I really appreciate you. I had to get my Zodiac love readings out of the way because love is an essential part of this business, of what we're doing here. <clears throat> so I wanted to move that out of the way and now I can get back to the real business, <laughs> the real, real business. And that's uh, looking into these Akashic records and getting these messages out to those who need to hear them to help them awaken, become aware and arise to the situation all right let's go ahead and get started with this reading let me get my sage re-going <clears throat> And again, gratitude to everyone. Let us begin. Spirit guides, please protect me as I intermingle in this energy. Allow me to observe, not absorb. I am a conduit to the universe. And I am eternally grateful for your guidance. I allow the universal energies to flow through me. Here we go. <clears throat> Fall into my arms. Surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. So I just got an image of someone doing um, Tai Chi. Um... <clears throat> using their hands and bodies to manipulate the energy field around them. We got the seven star sisters, the Pleiadians. Birth and creations, tapestry of life, expression. So I'm definitely getting messages wanting to come through. I got a lot of messages since I haven't been doing these readings, these soul readings. I've been getting a lot of urges and messages for me to get the information out. I'm still deciphering it. So as I move through these readings and get more of them processed, it'll be easier for the messages to flow. But I'm definitely getting right now that... Somebody is tapping into the records is wanting to be tapped into is what I'm getting. It's not that somebody is doing it. It's that they're wanting it to be done. There's information that's needing to come through is what I'm getting. <clears throat> I remember soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely talking about those of us who are needing to surrender right now onto our soul path. Um, there's going to be some type of downloads or informations being passed on at this time. I feel like there's a very strong energy right now that downloads are being processed to the, especially the conduits that are open, the people who resonate as psychics, as mediums, as intuitives, as you know, just being an open channel. There's a lot of downloads coming to those type of people. And then there's also going to be downloads being forced onto people who aren't quite as open. But it's like it's being forced open your crown chakra. A lot of people at this time are going to start remembering things from their past life, things that they resonate with in this lifetime and they're going to be curious as to why they resonate with those things when they have no prior in this lifetime no prior experience with those things your soul is remembering man at the bottom of the deck it says portal 
So yes, there are portals being opened up. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards the wild card. This is unexpected at this time. I'm going to put these over here so I can have um, some more room. <clears throat> I feel excited. I feel... I don't know. I feel like... The word, the exuberance. I don't know why that's coming through, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, Spirit wants me to go one more time with these. Okay, so this message is about to get specific, I'm being told. So there are a lot of people that's fallen into this category of surrender. There's a lot of messages coming to a lot of different spirits that are open and that are opening up. And um, there are people starting to remember that is a general message for a lot of people who fall into that category. Star seeds, chosen ones, empaths, even narcissists. <laughs> They said, don't leave them out. But this message is about to get specific. Feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. Again, we're getting more, more things about choices here. The portal is open, but you decide whether you want to walk through it or not. I'm getting that scene off the matrix where Morpheus, Morpheus said, I can only show you the door. You are the one who have to walk through it. So it's choices and their consequences, but don't think just because if you don't decide that you're free from the consequences of not deciding because not deciding is still a choice. I feel like I've said that before to somebody. So spirit is really calling for somebody to stand up, come forward. I don't know who this is, but I feel like your mission is very vital at this time. Yeah, somebody is supposed to be becoming a teacher hollow bone teachability and I don't understand why Rashad Jamal just came in my head so there's a decision that's needing to be made at this time by a predominant teacher possibly there's a choice that needs to be made right now Unmarked trail revelation. Somebody's realizing something. Yeah, and that's right over here with I remember. And covenant sacred contract. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to somebody who who is um who signed a sacred contract to come here to earth to teach this spirituality, the spiritual ways to help awaken more people. All right, let's get into the tarot so it can give me more information about who I'm talking to here. And I am assured that this message will reach the person that this is meant to reach. Okay, somebody is experiencing an extreme in life. Somebody who could have been at the top for a long time is now at the bottom or somebody who's been at the bottom is now going to be elevated to the top. But it's only after you make this choice to honor your sacred contract. Yep, I just seen Five of Pentacles. I can't make it up. This is the card talking about poverty mind state, poverty stricken, being out in the cold, feeling abandoned, a financial lack, destitute. Wow. And then we have the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Emotional wish fulfillment. I promise you I can't make this shit up. I can't. And this is how they came out. So somebody is definitely holding on to the past of how things used to be. Um, they're coming to a, a precipice in their life. Is that the right word? Yeah. 
to where they're going to have to make a decision whether you want to stay in this poverty mind strict in this lack mentality or do you want to move towards your wish fulfillment but it's not just about that it's about honoring your sacred contract that you came here to do and that involves some type of teaching and i don't mean at a school Okay, we got the Eight of Cups coming out. Y'all, I'm getting like, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I'm getting this Rashad Jamal situation very heavily coming through. I haven't even really been thinking about it that much. But like, I'm getting that coming through somebody walked away okay hold on we got the four of wands the knight of coins the tower in reverse i don't know if this is somebody who just really followed him or listened to him Or someone started their teachings with his messages. I don't and I don't know how this connects to him, but whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Like my hands didn't know what they were doing. I, I promise you there is some energy around me. My my um Dragon's Blood Sage was on fire, so I know there was some entities up in here. Um and I've been feeling them around me a lot, a lot of negative entities. But that's what happens when you start to level up spiritually, when you really surrender. You start to see things and experiencing experience things that you might not normally experience having still been asleep. Because you're just, your vibration is not there. Just like our eyes can only see uh 1% of the light spectrum our our experiencing our experiences that we have on a spiritual level when we're still asleep are very limited cuz we're not at that vibrational frequency okay um what is this telling me somebody walked away from their calling Oh, or somebody's being told to walk away from their calling. This is their foundation. This is the portal that they walk through the 1111 portal. A lot of you guys might resonate with that 1111. A lot of you guys could have been seeing 1111. And I feel like it took a long time. Something is going on here. Something, of, there's a tower moment. Somebody's having an internal, oh, man. What? So somebody's going through some type of trans, internal transformation here that they're, they're overhauling something here. Some type of programming that they had. And it's very much internal conflict happening with this, if not external conflict. I have something going on here with the with lies the truth not being told or seen or this is what somebody wants to happen okay somebody's oh my goodness somebody's trying to slow down someone's teaching someone was fulfilling their sacred contract and wow okay so yeah, I wasn't doing a Rashad Jamal reading, but I'm that is coming through in my spirit very heavily right now, for real. Wow. The choices and their consequences. Somebody is being give, given an ultimatum. Somebody, oh my God, I'm feeling the devil all over this. The devil all over this. 
you fall into my arms, do what I say, let me handle this and I'll give you all your dreams come true. I'll give you your wishes. Continue to teach and do what your soul contract is telling you to do and you'll have nothing. Wow. So somebody's making a deal with the devil or this is what is playing out behind the scenes. And I use that word term devil very loosely. Somebody's trying to think their way out of this situation. We got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, that Sam Smith song's coming in my head. I know I'm not the only one. So this is not the only time that this has happened. This is not the only person that this has happened to. And it's not going to be the last person that this happens to. There's a plan that's at stake here. And if somebody continues on their righteous path, this unmarked trail, somebody was not expecting this to be the way. They were expecting a physical revolution. I don't know why. But instead, they got a revolution of the spirit. There's something finna happen with this situation. We got justice in reverse. We got justice in reverse. Wow. There's a plan at foot to take somebody's opportunity away from them this person is righteous wow i remember and they do remember somebody's trying to stop someone's destiny i remember having this conversation with my sister about Everybody having choices and every choice leads to another choice and another consequence. And somehow we got to talking about people going to jail. And I'm like, there's choices that led to that. But sometimes people do end up in situations and predicaments like that, that they didn't choose. But there was a choice that was made that you may not have realized that led you to that point. And it could have been something righteous that you were doing. There's been some interference here. I need to get more information. I don't know why this is coming through. Tell me about the choices and the consequences. We got the page of cups. We got the tower again in the upright this time. And we got the sun. Death in reverse. Wow. <laughs> I do not like the way this feels and I'm starting to feel with that reading that I did with what really happened to Rashad Jamal. I don't, y'all, I promise y'all, I was not trying to do a reading about this. This was not what was on my mind at all, but this is what's coming through. I don't know why I feel like, and I got this nasty feeling in my stomach, like, hmm. <sighs> Somebody's trying to put someone's light out. Extinguish somebody's light. This fall into my arms card is not, uh-uh. Oh, I gotta leave it up. Yeah, we got the hermit.
The hermit can be a teacher, a spiritual leader, someone who lights the way on a dark path. This person is wise. This person has done internal soul searching, been through the dark night of the soul, and has brought forth the information. Hmm. And spirit is telling me to say the, the information of the high priestess. The high priestess is able to go beyond the veil. And she's able to go between realities. The Herman is the one who brings that information forward. What the hell am I even talking about? I don't even know. We got the Wheel of Fortune coming out. Okay, so what I'm getting is that somebody's trying to make somebody forget here. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? And I'm getting that gonna do the two step and cowboy grab your sweetheart and dip. I don't know why that's it's a follow after me or something. Something okay. So somebody wants someone's following to change. Okay, this is this person is being taken down. That's the only way I can see. Somebody wants someone to sign a new contract with them. To be under their spell, to be under their, oh my God, to be under their influence, to be their puppet. That's what I'm getting. We got the chariot. There's something to do with timing here. There's something to do with children. I keep seeing children involved. There's threats being made. There's leverages being had. We got the world. The world is a stage. And we got the strength card. Somebody's children is their weakness. And of course, why wouldn't they be? But So I'm, I'm hearing somebody saying we can make this all go away. Just sign right here. Somebody's surrendering for real. The King of Swords. I can't make it up. The King of Swords is right down there. The King of Swords is King of Swords is surrendering for love. Wow. I'm about to start crying, y'all. I can't. Wow. I'm going to end this reading because I no longer want to be in this energy. This is wicked ass shit. Wicked. Yeah.